Hi everybody, welcome back to my channel. It's me, Samantha. I hope y'all are doing well. It is Tuesday night and I have a little bit of a book haul, a crafting haul, and a coloring book haul that I wanted to share with you guys. So um, if you hear it, paw prints in the background is my dogs. So just ignore those. Um, but yeah, I hope y'all are doing well and I, um, I'm doing okay. I'm dealing with some depression right now. So I don't know, stuff's just going on in my family and it's not very good. So please pray for us and, um, keep us in your thoughts and well wishes. But yeah, so the books that I bought, I have the first three books. Now these, this is a five book set or six book set and it's Bridgerton. This is by Julia Quinn. Um, for those of you that know Bridgerton, it's a TV show on Netflix and I wanted to read all the books cause they are books, um, first and foremost and a series second. So the first book is the Duke and I, and that is of course, Daphne and Simon's story. But the next couple books are to Sir Philip with love. And this is Eloise's story. Um, all the Bridgertons are named for a first letter of the alphabet. So there's Anthony, um, Benedict, Colin, Daphne, Eloise, Francesca, um, and Gregory, I think are the siblings names, but I got Eloise's story. And then this is, um, when he was wicked, this is Francesca's story. And Romancing Mr. Bridgerton is Penelope Collins' story. So I'm very excited to read these. And I'm sorry, I think I messed up the order of the, the books already. But there's five of them. Um, the first book is The Duke and I. And that is that starts with Daphne's story. Which is why the TV show started with Daphne and Simon. But the second one is When... When He Was Wicked, I think. And that's Anthony's story, which is her older brother. So that'll be next season on Bridgerton. So I'm kind of trying to read the books in order. And these are what I will be reading next because I have already read Daphne and Simon's story and Anthony and Kate's story. So Anthony and Kate's season is going to be very, very good. I'm very excited about it. So definitely, um, if you're a Bridgerton fan, keep an eye out. It premieres March 25th. They delayed it a month because of COVID. So yeah. Anyway, that's my book haul. And I wanted to share that with you guys. I'm going to set these down over here. And for coloring books, I bought Valentine Ceramic Tiles, Color by Number by Pratchy Dewan Satch Diva. Um, I've been seeing this kind of float around the coloring community a little bit and I wanted to get it because it looked nice and I don't have that many Valentine's coloring books. I didn't realize this, but I don't. So I'll do a flip of this if you guys want me to, but it's kind of short. They're kind of smaller. <coughs> Excuse me. They're kind of on the smaller side, but they have just as many pictures and they're nice to color in. So I have been enjoying her books lately. Then I bought um, 50 Gorgeous Patterns Color by Number by Satch and Such Deva. This is a matte cover, which I really like because it does not glare. Most coloring books will glare on camera. It's just how it is. And this one, I really like the new cover style. This is the first time I've seen it and the first time I have a book that is actually like this. So, yeah. Um, here's what the pages look like. And when I have time, I will come on camera and color one for you guys so you see how they look colored. But if you like pattern books, definitely check out this book. It was super cheap too. It was only like... I want to say $5.99 or something like that on sale. But there is this book. And then I bought Stone Mosaics book number four. Um, 
I have all the other books. I just don't know where they are right now. They're in my chaos of coloring book piles everywhere. I got to get that organized. That's a topic for another time though. Um, this is what the pages look like. They're all stone and the color palette is on the other side and they are numbered. So yeah, I really enjoy these books when I'm stressed out and don't want to think about picking colors. I tend to gravitate towards these books a lot. So yeah, kind of a small little coloring book haul this month. I just kind of picked those three out because they were really the only ones that looked interesting enough for me to want to color in. I'm really trying to color in books that I already have because I have so many that I need to just focus on using them and coloring in them instead of buying a bunch of new books that I'm not going to color in for a while because that's just the type of mood I've been in. The next thing I wanted to share with you guys is some craft supplies that I got. This is Wild Spirits. These are cards that I picked up at my local supermarket. They're gorgeous. And I've started mailing cards. This is everything that is in here. Like here's the deer, isn't that pretty? Very Native American, but I love the style of artwork. It just really calls to me and it inspires me. Um, so if you guys want me to send you some cards, let me know. I have some friends and family that I'm sending mail to, so I thought I would pick up some new stationery. And that is what I picked out, but it's Wild Spirits by Jenna Defa Grow Gratafia. I think that's how you pronounce your name. But these are the images, 12 note cards. And of all places, I found it at my store, my grocery store. So I've also been journaling lately and I got this off of an Etsy shop. This is just a little bundle of Oh, I also ordered these cute little Snoopy cards on eBay. My son, who his name is Jasper, and he is seven. He will be eight in March. But Snoopy is his favorite. So, of course, I had to pick up these Snoopy and Woodstock cards because they are so cute. But I have a few written in already that I'm going to send out. But they kind of open up like that. They are Hallmark, but I got these on eBay. And they were super cheap. But anyway, I digress. I don't know why I have a receipt in here. Because I'm random like that. <clears throat> so how are you guys doing? What's new? Hi to my new subscribers. Hello to everybody that's new. This is going to be a crafty type channel. So anything that piques my crafting interest will be featured on here. So I just wanted to share some of these really pretty... Um, scrapbooking stuff that I bought and I've been keeping it to the side because I'm going to be scrapbooking a little bit more and journaling is my goal because I've been very scatterbrained lately and really the only thing that calms me, ooh, these birds are so pretty. I don't know if you can see that is journaling. Look at this cute little envelope. And some washi tape. I don't have that much washi tape. And I'm not really into washi tape. I don't really see the appeal of it that other people see. But that's just me. And I haven't even really opened these yet. But these just look like scrap pieces of paper. Yeah. I might use these as coloring book page savers because they're so pretty.
but I got these as a grab bag on Etsy and I just searched crafting grab bags and here's a bunch of stickers that are in another bag. Same with these ones. And these guys, just fun little stuff. Oh, look how cute he is. I love kawaii stuff. Um, but yeah, not much else is new today. Just kind of hanging out and dealing with some depression because of stuff that's going on in my family. Sometimes I just get in a depressed type of mood and I it takes me a while to get out of it and this is one of those times. And I've learned that for me, I just have to write it out and do what I love doing and kind of block out everything that is negative, as weird as that sounds, and block out everything that causes me pain and just focus on things that I love doing. So that's what I'm doing. Ooh, look at these pumpkins. That's pretty. I don't know if you can see that. I'm just trying to organize here a little bit because my life is already chaos and I don't need it to be any more chaos than it already is. What is that? Oh, it's the frog thing. I don't like this guy. I don't really like his image. I've seen him around in like poetry books and stuff, but I don't like frogs. I like Kermit the Frog. Some little kitties. I don't know how I'm going to use all of this, but because this is a lot. It's like a lot of scrapbooking random stuff. And I don't really have anywhere to put it right now. What do you guys put your craft stuff in? I need to look at that. Although I'll probably end up going down another YouTube rabbit hole. I have been down the rabbit hole of the van life videos on YouTube. And I found this girl. Her name's Mariah Alice. M-A-R-I-A-H. A-L-I-C-E. And if you YouTube her, she is so cool. She's living by herself in this van and she gets to travel all the time. And she has a little cute doggy. And I love him. He's very sweet looking. But I have been watching all of her videos lately. But yeah. It's getting dark too early still. It is like pitch black outside right now. Okay. It's kind of an ASMR video. I'm sorry, you guys. You hear Daisy in the background sleeping. Sweet girl. She just had her dinner. Okay, I'm going to do this. Anyway, that is all that I have for today. Hope you guys enjoyed this video. Take care, God bless, and thanks for watching. Bye!